Take over. There's two kingdoms: the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. Two opposing kingdoms. You can't start to stop the light. The power of Jesus is stronger than the power of demons. Mm. Someone say amen. amen. Stronger than demonic power. Stronger than darkness. Someone say amen. Mm. If you're doubting. I'm telling you this morning. That Jesus Christ and the kingdom is powerful, more powerful than any demonic power that you know of. Mm. Doesn't matter what it is. Witchcraft, demons, is nothing to God. Thank you, Lord. And through Christ Jesus, mm. He's given you the authority to move in that anointing and power. Mm. You're blessed, and you've been given the name, and you have anointing and power to overcome the evil one. Mm. Come on. Okay? And he's called you to possess the land. Mm. He's called you to, to come and take hold of that which is given to you. Inside of you, you have a volition, you have a will. Inside of you, you've got this anointing. Inside of you, you've got a different spirit. Amen. Mm. Let me just get back to my, uh, my foot right here. <coughs> See, violent men take it by force. If you want something from God, you're going to have to take it by force. You sort of go, oh, is he reluctant to give it to me? He's not reluctant, but he wants to see what the passion is that you have inside of you to want what you want to get. You know, just wanting something without passion is something that God's not going to do for you. But if you've got passion for what you want, if you want to see souls one, and it's not for you to go and buy yourself a Mercedes Benz or find yourself the best looking woman in the world. You know, people think it's all to spend on themselves. It's not about you, it's about other people. It's about furthering the kingdom of heaven. Okay, it's about invading and taking over the kingdom of heaven. It's not about, you know, so much your family, your babies, your white picket fences, your houses. God will take care of that, but seek first the kingdom of heaven, and everything will be added unto you. Right? You give God first place in your life, and you have a kingdom mindset perspective, God will use you and bless you. Because you're not self-centered, you're kingdom-centered. You've got to become a kingdom-focused person. You've got to have a kingdom perspective. Do you understand that you're in a fight between darkness and light? Every day you wake up, there's adversary, there's opposition to the kingdom of heaven. And God wants you to be a, a type of person that you have a kingdom perspective, that you can see what's happening around you, that you have an understanding that you're in this war. And it's great because you've got the biggest bouncer in heaven on your side. Yeah. How many like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay? So, you know, you don't have to be a chicken when Jesus is standing right behind you. Massive. Oh, I don't know who he is, but he said in his word, Lo, I'm with you to the end of the world. Amen. I don't believe that. When he said it in his word, then you better stand on it by faith and believe it. Well, I still can't believe it. Well, keep standing on it. Well, I still can't believe it. 
will keep standing on it. And one day it will become part of the DNA of your heart. Come on. The more that you stand upon what God says in His Word, it will eventually become part of who you are. Wow. Massive. Wow. Yeah, come on. Come on. Trouble is, we don't stand on it enough. We start seeing standing on other stuff. But you've got to stand upon the Word that becomes a part of you. Mm. One day you wake up and you go, Flip, it is part of me. I do believe it now. Massive. He is with me. What the heck? <laughs> and I used to think like that. Now I'm thinking like that. I used to think that sometimes he's here, sometimes he's not. He's on a holiday. Or he, sometimes he's not interested. Lo, I'm with you to the end of the world. Amen. Simon mm. heard that like, oh, Oh, let's get out there. Let's start pushing. <laughs> Come on. Then he says, go. Get out of church and start doing stuff. Get out of the building and start winning people to cry yeah. to him, to the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Go. I'm just waiting for my orders. The orders are in the Bible. Go means go. Yeah. Means get up, start doing something. Come on. Amen. So, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. People who vigorously, say vigorously, vigorously, seek the kingdom and all its power. People who vigorously seek the kingdom and all its power. Amen? Mm. Vigorous. You guys went away on the camp. Hey, you fasted for 25 days, the youth came back on fire. Amen. 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 Now what are you going to do with that fire? Come on. Well, my fire is just starting to go a little bit dim, Pastor. What's snuffling out? Well, I wonder if you've been putting logs on the fire. Mm. Amen. Wow. I wonder if you've been pouring a little bit of petrol on that fire. You know? Oh, I'm wondering if you're turning the TV off and spending a bit more time reading the Bible. Wow, wow. I wonder. To wander. No. <laughs> what are you doing about that fight? Come on. Come on. Well, it's, it's burning. Well, let me tell you. I've been in revivals in Australia and I've seen fire burning in people. And then I'll see three months later that fire's gone. Right? And you know what? Because they just presume on It's like, I've got it now. On fire. Look at me. <laughs> on fire. Look at me. <laughs> the upper here, there's hailstones and big dark clouds coming. Look at me. Next minute, it's raining down upon him. Shh, all he sees a puff of smoke. Why is it coming up? Okay? You know, because they don't have wisdom to do something. When a fire starts, it's an opening in heaven. Come on. When there's an opening in heaven, it's time to seek the gold and the silver. Mm. You fall down from heaven inside your soul. Yeah. It's not a time to pull back and to sit there and go, I'm on fire. Man, we had a great camp. Wasn't that great? That was yesterday. Come on. Woo. Come on. Mm. Where are you today? Well, Woo. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Such a music game to play. Now it seems to have gone away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know the Beatles song. Why she had to go, I don't know. She, no, it's so nothing to do with it. But you had the fire, and the fire got snuffed out. When someone says to you in church, lift up your hands, I want you to, when you lift your hands, your elbows actually hit the other person.